Hey guys, we were at Unite Melbourne 2015 today, uh, sponsored by Unity. It was a great event. Got these uh, pretty cool media passes. Me and Josh got them. You're there too, Josh, yeah? I'm here. I'm here He's behind, behind the man. camera. He's still alive. There's really good food, great keynote speeches, and we got to chat to uh, some of the devs, had some really good talks, and uh, here they are. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm with Peter, the developer for Tahira. Yeah, I'm the lead writer um, working on Tahira Echoes of the Astral Empire. We had our campaign um, March to April of this year, um, raised $68,000 um, and kickstarted successfully. You have to work very hard to raise your profile if it's your if you're a studio who's sort of doing their debut game on Kickstarter. Um, there's you know a lot of competition now and standing out against those big guys is is hard work. But yeah, we were really lucky. We had a lot of our friends and family really helped us out and um, the Australian game development community actually, like they really jumped on board at the start as well. So it was awesome. Hey guys, I'm with Darcy, uh, the QA for our Mallow, yes, League of Geeks. QA lead over QA. launch. That's Sorry, it. QA lead. Excuse you actually. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> so I guess one of the biggest hurdles that I had uh, in quality assurance uh, working on our Mallow is the fact that we we weren't overly efficient with how we got our languages imported in because we, we sort of were quite ambitious in the languages that we went for. So we, we, go, we cover like Korean, Japanese, Chinese, and then like plus 10 others. Um, and we got those in like a week before we launched. Um, and I guess it was just a really sort of interesting and stressful side of development for me anyway because we were just like, text boxes were everywhere and like the string table was all out of control and the cars would have been off yeah, as well the car, yeah yeah the, and and it was just like yeah it was hardcore i mean yeah i mean i could play it on a playstation <laughs> 4 just, in like, korea crying. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> if i start crying on camera i'm so sorry so i guess for us our strategy as a as a studio and what we want to do with our mellow is we just want to bolster the core experience. Like there are a few things that we wanted to touch and, and we wish we could have done in early access, but eventually we just had to draw the line. I guess that's sort of the thing with development. You can keep working on it forever. Hey guys, I'm with Tony from MDHR Studios, yep. is it? Yep. Uh, creators of closely. Cuphead, yeah. Where do you think games, what else could games look like? I mean, uh, see that's, that's an interesting question. Cause like, okay, so we have a lot of games that are kind of coming out now that aren't even some people wouldn't even consider them games, right? And, that, and, this, and this is not me saying they're not games, because I, I love all forms of games. They're, they're all really, you know, really, really cool. Just anything interactive is really, really awesome. Um, but we have a lot of games coming out now where you can look at it and, and be thinking that it's not really, you're not sure what it is. I feel like we're really going in the direction that um, games are going to be more visually pleasing. And that, in, in that case, they're also going to be more acceptable, I guess. Like, not just gamers and people that enjoy video games are going to play, play games anymore. Because, um, and I've heard of this a lot with Cuphead, is that um, some people come up to me and say, okay, uh, this looks like a game that my mom could sit on the couch and enjoy <laughs> watching as I play. And okay. I thought about that. I was like, yeah, no, that's, that makes a lot of sense. The, the whole South Park thing, right? The South Park Sick of Truth. Um, yeah. That's a perfect example, is if you're looking at this game, you're not, you don't see an A button or you don't see a menu on the screen or anything. It looks like the cartoon. It looks exactly like the cartoon. And I think games are moving in that direction where, um, and this, is, this has a lot to do with streaming as well, um, people watching the game are going to influence the gameplay just as much as the players, right? Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're important, obviously. And I'll, when I think of that, I think of like something like FIFA or NBA 2K, right? Yes. These are games where they have really a mainstream audience, maybe not typical gamers per se. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's, it that looks real, you know? There's a real real world element. And you think Cuphead and games like that draw on something else that bring other people to games? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's going to be an interesting, I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see where all this stuff goes, I guess. Look, uh, Unite Melbourne 2015 was a really great event, uh, really well done. So kudos to Uni. We really hope to be back there next year. So hopefully they invite us again. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys in the next few days with packs coming up and a few other things. So uh, see, you guys, uh, see you then, guys. <laughs>